Hello, uh, Fear the Meerkat here. Welcome to the first episode of Let's Play uh, The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Um, sorry that it has taken uh, quite a while for me to... Uh, basically, I didn't put any new episodes of anything up last week, and that's because it's taken me a while for me to select which game I was going to go for. But, um... Uh, here we are. Still getting in the use of the controls here. I mean, I've played this game before, but I haven't really played it on my PC before. If you see what I mean. Also, uh, hopefully you can't see my mouse, but if you can, sorry about that. So yeah, it's a pretty good game, um, the Minish Cap, um, for the Game Boy Advance, uh, I like it, um, it's not as good as, say, uh, Majora's Mask, which I could not apparently record, for some reason, but, um, it's not bad. Um, alright, well, I'm, I'm going to read these. Oh, don't worry about him, he'll be fine. Where's Link? The whole town is bustling for the annual Pekori Festival. I thought he and I might go together. Would you mind, Terby? Oh, is that what you're here for? Well, Link was up late helping me last night, and he's still asleep. But I do have an errand at the castle. Yes, that should be fine. Link, time to get up. Now, for some reason, Link, uh, a lot of the games start off with um, Link being uh, asleep. Link, time to get up. What was that? I think this is, this is one of those few Legends of Zelda um, games where Link already knows Zelda. I don't know for sure if it's the f very foot, if it's the only one, but... Hey, Link. Princess Zelda's here. She'd like to know if you join her at the festival. Yeah, Link. Come on. Let's go check out the festival together. Master Smith already gave me permission to take you. Yes, after all, the festival only comes once a year. Go on, have fun. And while you're there, you can do me a favour. I just finished making this sword for the minister at Hyrule Castle. I'd like you to deliver it to him. This is the blade that will be pre presented to the winner of the competition. Don't lose it. And while the two of you may be childhood friends, remember, Zelda is the princess of Hyrule. You watch over her. Don't let anything bad happen to her. Master Smith, quit worrying, we'll be perfectly safe. Come on, Link, let's go check out the festival. Sure, I just want to, um, steal your stuff. <laughs> there we go. 
Um, okay, I don't think it's possible for me to... Oh, no, wait, it is. Excellent. There just happens to not be anything in them. Um, yeah. Bank, over here. Yep, on my way. Bank, hurry, let's go. Yeah, I'm, I'm going, I'm going. Over here, come on, hurry up. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm going. Well, here we are, the town of... Hi yes, I couldn't possibly have found that on my own in just 30 seconds, could I? It's so far from my house. Here we are, Link. Doesn't it look fun? Come on, let's look around. I don't think there's actually a lot of stuff you can do. Oh, um, ah, uh, sorry about that. Gonna have to make sure I don't do that again. Um, there is some way to wall. Aha! Yep. So, yeah, I don't think you can actually do very much here, but. Let's try it. Come on! Uh, come on, come on, try out your luck and win incredible prizes. Uh, how do I do so? Okay, I don't know how to do that. Long I go, and then even longer before that. Evil creatures appeared in the world of humans. They are powerful, frightening beasts, and they created such trouble but then the Kuroi came from the sky, bringing humans powerful magic. With the magic life force and the Kuroi ride, the, be the beasts were repelled, and the world of humans wants more new peace, thanks to the Kuroi. So, as not to forget our gratitude, we hold this festival each year. Now, remember, little ones, the Kuroi only appeared before good little children. If you only do bad deeds, you never go get to see them, so be good. Okay. They say the Pukuri bring happiness to all humans they meet. I wonder when they will bring happiness to me. Alright. Are you enjoying yourself, Link? This is the biggest festival in Hyrule. If you don't stop to enjoy, you miss out on all the fun. Um, yes. I'm guessing that you're, you're stopping me from being able to get in there, aren't you? Um, mm, how annoying. Uh, not sure I can get into there either. Ah, uh, how are you doing? Link, there's a storyteller here. We should stop and listen to... Oh, I wonder what's over there. Okay, well, I have listened to it. So the Pekuri are real. My father always told me they were. Oh, look at that. Alright. Uh, hmm. sec. Only once every hundred years does the mystic door way open. This is a door that links the human world to the world of the Kui. When this... When this door opens, the Kui can enter our world. And guess what? This marks hundredth year since they last op appeared here. I'm sure something wonderful is going to happen at this festival. So, wasn't there going to be a sword fighting tournament at the castle? I wonder who won this year? Oh, won! Wow, over there! Here! Here! There! Somewhere! Who knows? We have a winner! Oh my, Princess Soda! You won the grand prize in our drawing! Wow! You get your choice of any of these wonderful prizes. What will it be? First we have this lovely heart-shaped stone. Next we have this magnificent gem. And finally there's this teeny tiny shield. So which would you, one would you like? Let me guess, the deal. Oh, but that heart stone is very cute too. Choose whichever one you like. The shield is so adorable. I think I'll take it. 
What? Why? Why would you want that a good thing? What about the heart stone? It's cute. Or, or this giant gem, it's pretty. Honestly, they're both much nicer than that nasty little shield thing. Oh, I want the shield. Can I have it? What a strange princess you are. Well, okay, here's your teeny tiny shield. Yeah, I want to give you a present. Doesn't the shield shoot you perfectly, Link? Yeah, just as I thought, you look great. Now, if anything happens, you can protect me with that shield. Oh, I almost forgot, we have to take Master Smith's sword to the castle. Let's go, Link. Um, I need to... Aha! There we go. Come on, Link. Let's hurry to the castle. Yeah, you you like hurrying to things, don't you? Uh-uh. Hey. Ouch! That must be the business scrub I heard the soldiers talking about. They were saying a Deku scrub had been hassling all the passers-by. Link, do something about it, otherwise we can't get to the castle. If only we had some way to defend ourselves against those Nats of his. Oh no, Nats! Please, forgive me, sir. I heard there was a festival. I came to town hoping to hawk my wares. Unfortunately, we scrubs have a tendency to spit nuts when we speak. Everyone got scared and went away, and no one will buy anything. This is a terrible place to do business. I'm not... I'm going back to my cave. Actually feel a little sorry for that business scrub. But that nut hurt. Oh well, he won't be hassling anyone now. We better hurry to the castle. Yeah. Oh, Link, you bought the sword, did you? Then, as minister to the kingdom of I will, I, Potho, accept this blade. He came just in time. The award ceremony will begin soon. I'm sorry, Link, but I'd better go. I have to prepare for the ceremony. I had a good time at the festival. Thanks for coming with me. Since you are here, Link, why don't you join us for the award ceremony? Do you know about that sword, Link? It is called the Pikuri Blade, and it locks much evil way in that chest. The Pikuri Blade is sacred among the people of Hyrule. The legend has it that long ago the Pikuri gave us this blade. Whoever wins the competition earns the honour of touching the sacred blade. Let the award ceremony commence. Yati, champion of the comp of the competition, you may approach the blade. Um, I'm not sure this is a good idea. Well, actually, I know whether it's a good idea or not because I played this game before. Hee <laughs> hee Actually, I think anyone who's seen hee 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 will um will probably know that this isn't a good idea. Anyone who starts a sentence with that is evil. To think things would go this well. The Curry Blade and the Bound Chest spoken of in Hyrulean lore. This chest must hold that which I seek. I will leave you of its contents now. Hmm. <laughs> Do not interfere with me. As Victor, I've earned the right to approach the Pecuri Blade. I've been waiting for this moment.
Who are you? Why are you doing this? The princess with the mystical uh, the power that was gifted to the people of Hyrule still flows within the veins of the ladies of its royal family. Interesting. If I leave you now, you only cause me trouble later. That will never do. To stone with you. <laughs> All who stand in my way shall share this fate. Now, to find out what power awaits me in this chest. Empty? There was nothing in there but a rabble of monsters? What is the meaning of this? Well, I know the force I'm after is somewhere out there. I'm in no hurry. I can take my time searching for it. <laughs> well, I like that in this game it's not Ganondorf who's the... Uh, who's the main bad guy. I do think that's cool. Hello. Oh, thank goodness, you've awakened. Master Smith is here as well. He's come to see His Majesty the King. Oh, okay, let's, uh, let's go talk to him. Oh, Link, you're awake. Are you feeling all right? Stand at my side. The King of Hyrule is about to speak. It is as you have all heard. The sorcerer named Yaki has crushed, cursed my fair Zelda and turned her to stone. If we had the sacred Pukuri blade, we likely could have broken the curse, but Yaki shattered the blade. However, I have not given up hope. What do you know about Pukuri? The Pukuri? Not marked beyond the, what the fairy tales say. They're supposed to be very tiny, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, the ones from the fairy towns. But the Pukuri are no mere legend. They most certainly exist. No one outside of the royal family knows the truth about them. The Pukuri, who falls a sacred bait, live deep, live deep within Minish Woods. They should be able to repair the broken blade and reforge the stone. What? Then we must dispatch the soldiers there at once. No, soldiers will not do. The Pukuri do not show themselves to anyone but children. Our soldiers could search for days and still find no sign of them. I see. If that's the case, then why not send Link? If Link has recovered, then yes, I'd like to ask this of him. Please, turn my precious Zelda back to normal. The Pukuri should know how to create a new sacred sword. It will be a dangerous journey now that those monsters have been freed. Please, take this sword with you, along with the broken Pukuri blade. And yeah, I know there's, there's a lot of uh, talking at the beginning of this game, but it is nearly over. This part of the sword needed to be needed to be refought. This is part of the sword needed to reforge the sacred bright. Don't lose it. Very well then. Send the soldiers to search for Yati at once. Or the Yati at once, if you wish. Deep within the Minas Woods, you'll find a place called Deepwood Shrine. Once humans and Pakuri shared that shrine as a meeting place. I think it would be best if you started your search there. Take this map with you. If you get lost on your way to the forest, simply check your map. Just press start and then uh, these buttons to open the map. I have marked the location of the forest for you. Good luck and be careful. Okay, well it looks like we're going downwards and then uh, to the left. I'm counting on you, Link. Only you can break your Yachty's curse and free Princess Zelda. Okay. Aha! There we go.
this makes you go slightly faster. Yeah, there's not actually a lot to do here for now. Ah! It's the thing! Fortunately, it's a fairly stupid thing. The name's Muto. I've heard carpenters round. I'm head carpenter round these parts. The king of Hyrule himself has entrusted me with this project. See, that sorcerer's attack tore things up pretty bad around here. You know, kid, you shouldn't be playing anywhere near the construction zone. Okay. I'm so I'm so busy, so busy. Go finish here so I can go repair the steps next. Alright, so we're not going to be going that way. Oh. Oh. That's something that you do. How annoying. It's been a while since I last did this. Ah, yeah, we can't go. Or all one of it. <laughs> Alright, good. Um, if there's nothing really interesting going on, um, and there's not a lot we can do here, um, I might skip some stuff. I really like the, uh, the light here. That's cool. You know, I like, in in general, uh, I like the, um, the way that this game looks. I like that it doesn't look the same, if you see what I mean, as um, other um, games do, other Zelda games. Help, help me! Won't somebody stop them? Ow! Help! Somebody! Can't anybody hear me? Uh, yes, I can. I just don't know where you are. Oh, that's quite helpful. Um... Hmm. Yes, where are you? Hey, kid, you there. Ow! Hey, don't just stand there, do something! Ow! What's wrong with you? Do you like watching me take this abuse? Help me! Ah, oh, sugar. Phew, well done. That was close. Not that I couldn't handle them myself. But that's beside the point. What in the world is a lone child doing so deep in the woods? Ah, I see. The Pakura, you say, and Vati? Vati's cursed someone. What? The sacred blade? Is that so? I see, I see. You know, you know, you and I have quite a lot in common. You see, I too am on a quest to break the curse of Yatis. And you say that we forging the sacred blade can break his curse, huh? Well, then you may have found yourself a companion, my boy. My name is Ezlo. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Okay. 
Okay. Wait, wait, I say. You walk so quickly, too quickly in fact. Can't you go any slower? Surely you've noticed I have no legs. Boy, take a good look at me. Do you think I can walk that fast? Alright. What? Is there something on my face? Quit staring, it's rude. Ah, if it isn't one thing, it's another. You are a troublesome boy. There, now you can't possibly leave me behind. Hmm, it's quite comfortable up here. More comfortable than looks, surely. And that's easy on me. Hey, quit your squirming. Can't you sit still, see there? Yes, yes, that's it, that's better. Now, I suppose a boy like you still has much to learn about the world. If ever you need my insight, press select. I'll be happy to help. Ah, such a hopeless child. Hey, kid, where are you going? That's the way we just came from. Oh, okay, silly. Hold on for a moment, my boy. We stumbled across something important. The world of the Minish is very small. You're far too big to meet them now. Ah, who are the Minish? Ah, yes, see me. Allow me to explain. You humans call them Pakuri, but they refer to themselves as the Minish. Strange how, in the world of humans, only this forest has kept that name. Anyhow, deep in the forest they built a tiny village where many now live. But if we're to enter the village, we'll have to make you a touch smaller first. Look at that. At first glance, it appears to be a mere stump, yes? No, that stump is a portal used by people long ago to adjust their size. With my help, you can use it to shrink down to minute size. Just stand on the stump and press that button to shrink. To return to normal, stand next to the stump and press that button. Get me up there and we'll give it a try. I really like this, um, the way it does this. This is so cool. I mean, you said uh, uh, that we were going to get smaller. You, you didn't say that small. Welcome to the world through the eyes of the Minish. Now, aren't you glad you saved me? No need to thank me, though. Portals that reduce the size are all around in different shapes and sizes. If you want to return to normal, stand next to a portal and press that button. But there's one thing you must know, being minish size is full of dangers. Mere puddles at your normal size are bottomless swamps to minish. And, as your companion, if anything bad happens to you, it happens to me too. So proceed with caution, my lad. If not for your sake, then for my own. Okay, yes, that's, uh, that's true. That means we can no longer go that way. But we can go this way. And now I need to do this without dying. I really like how it does this as well, actually. Here's where we found the Minish Village. Alright, well... Pico, Pikuri! Rippy, Rippico, Pikuri! Picoco, Pico, Rippico! I gather it's been quite some time since I last saw a human. What's that? You didn't understand what they were saying just now? Ah yes, that was the language of the Minish. It's a little different from the dialect I'm most familiar with. I'm afraid I didn't catch most of what they said myself. But perhaps there is someone here who understands your language. We should look around. We will look around at some point. But... For now, I am going to say... But that's it for this episode. I will see you next time.